Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, I am testing a new setup, as you may be able to tell today, and I therefore apologise in advance for any um, annoying annoyance in the sound which may exist, which I'm going to have to refine over the next few days, or as I use this setup. But my son has been working very hard on getting all of these bits together today, and I want to give it a try, so bear with me please. Um, now, before I start, I am going to mention that, of course, on Patreon, we just released yesterday our newest month's Sudoku Hunt, uh, Lines and Shapes, featuring um, a lot of line puzzles, because we hope to have the line app coming out later this month, and um, with a prize of a cap with the shape of our logo on it. Do do check that out in our merchandise if you want, but check out The Hunt on Patreon. Um, we love it when people join us on Patreon and support the channel. We feel very privileged that people are prepared to do that. Thank you. So that is going on there. We've got, um, obviously, all our apps are available as well. And that merch. Sven has done a recent update to Sudoku Pad as well. So um, that will probably be performing better. Um, in various ways that are listed on the change log. Um, do check it out. Anyway, loads going on always. And uh, the first link on today's video is to this puzzle. Now this has been recommended to us by Glum Hippo, um, a long time friend of the channel. And he says that it's a brilliant puzzle by Sujoiku um, and that we should give it a go. So a recommendation from Glum is not to be sneezed at. Very happy to do that. And I'm going to have a look at it now. Let's go through the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're going to put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box as normal. A clue outside the grid indicates the value of the sum of all even or all odd digits on the indicated diagonal. If the even digits are counted, no odd digit contributes to the sum and vice versa. So, ooh, what's going on? Sorry, um, I'm going to try. I'm using a slightly different keyboard, which you may hear as the video goes, uh, because I can't use my laptop keyboard, obviously. Anyway, um, we've got this diagonal has seven cells in it. Either all the even cells add up to eight, or all the odd cells. That's how this puzzle works, it seems. Now there are some cages which have some quite odd sums on some of them, like that one which has a one sum. Digits in a cage don't repeat, and a clue in a cage indicates the sum of all even digits or of all odd digits which are contained in that cage. So we're going to have to work out which of the clues outside the grid, the little killer clues, are cluing evens and which are cluing odds. Um, and the same for the cages. The puzzle title is only even or even only odd. Um, I think that refers to the fact that all the clues given outside the grid are in fact all only even, which is weird. Just thinking in my mind, that doesn't necessarily mean they're necessarily only counting even digits. Uh, I said necessarily, unnecessarily, too often there. Um, and actually, the puzzle title is great. I'm not sure we've ever had a six word puzzle title that all begin with vowels before, but we have now. Anyway. Dying to give this a try. Very interesting idea. Do uh, click on the first link under the video and give it a go yourself. I am now going to restart the clock and say, let's get cracking. So, we've got lots of long zero diagonals. Three of them. Now, what the heck does that mean? Actually, I think it's, I think it's our software that may, is making it a little bit harder to trace diagonal lines. It's not, it's, I'm using the same mouse as before, so I don't think it is uh, anything to do with the keyboard, obviously. Anyway, never mind about that, Mark. Oh, okay. We've, right, the 18 cage. I was thinking about the one cage and going, well, there must, yes, any, any cage with an odd number clue is counting the odds. Because if you just counted the evens, you would only get to an even total. 
So any cage with an odd number clue is only counting the odds in that cage. And in this one cage, there is therefore one odd number that is a one, and two even numbers that count as zero in the sum for the cage. Now, I don't know what that means particularly, and if I find it very hard to pencil mark one odd and two evens. I think the same must be true, though, for the three cage, because obviously you can't have three odds adding to three, because they would all be one. Uh, the seven cage, again, only one even digit. The nine cage, I mean, the same will be true of the five cage. The nine cage could have three, because they could be one, three, five. That is the minimum number. Now, what I've noticed, actually, that is better than all of this is the 18 cage. Now, that cannot be counting only odd digits, because it would need two odd digits to get to an even number. And then they both have to be nine, and they're not allowed in the same cage or box. So this is counting even digits. And then the two biggest even digits are eight and six. That's not enough. So all of these digits are even. And in fact, they must be 864. I mean, maybe the simplest way to see that is if you add all the even digits together, they add to 20. What do you need to take out of that group to make 18? And it's 2. So that's the even digit not featuring here. I guess, is it? No, it's not the same with this 16 cage. See, I've just been about to write 862 into here. But that is not necessarily true, because this could be counting the odd digits, a 9 and a 7, and ignoring the one even digit. That's weird. Right, here's another thought. That basically, these zero sums, what I'm going to do is draw lines. Um, let's draw a good old pink line, if I can, down this diagonal. Down that diagonal, they're either all odd or all even, and that's how you get zero, by counting the other parity. And the same is going to be true down this one. Come on, lines, stay proper. Okay, good. And the same is going to be true down this one. Now, what does that mean? Okay, the first thing it means relates to the eight, no, to the seven cage. We worked out that the seven cage has different parities in it. It has one odd and two evens. And these lines I've drawn are effectively parity lines, saying, actually, it's just like the puzzle spider web in our, uh, in our Patreon monthly reward. There are parity lines in that where the lines have the same parity throughout. So I think we can work out from this, where there is one odd digit and it's a seven, that that odd digit is here, and this is an odd line, because these two have to have the same parity, so they can't be odd, they must be even. So I think we can make this whole set even, and this whole set odd. And what's going to happen in the eight cage? I don't know, uh, sorry, odd is orange, not blue. What's going to happen in the eight cage? We've got two even digits. Right, this can't be even, or the eight would have to be made up of adding three evens together, and you can't get three of them together to add up to eight. So this is odd, and that means the whole of this line is odd as well. And now we're parity colouring the whole grid, surely. I mean, that must be the aim now. It must be. Right, um, what can we do here? The three cage has one odd and two evens. Oh no, let's do this eight total, maybe. What do we know about this? I don't know, this is, getting, this is weirding me out a bit, actually. Maybe I have to do the crossing totals. Right, let, I'm going to look at this diagonal, because it gets interesting in the central box. In the central box, this is going to pick up, well, I know that these three cells are going to be two evens and an odd, and I know that because every, every box, like every row and column, must have four even Sudoku digits and the five odd ones. So to make up the total in this box, we need two evens and an odd there. Well, then I know that this two clue can't be counting evens because there are two evens there as well as one odd. 
So this is counting odds, and the odds it's counting are two ones, and one of them is in this central box. Um, but, uh, it's annoying, because I don't know where the other one is on this diagonal. Oh, and this line is running through two odds. Okay, this can't be counting odds, because they would both have to be one. They would both count. So this line is counting evens, and there's one blue two somewhere on it. And everything else on it is orange, and I bet the same is true of this, which goes through two odds. This is such a strange puzzle. Right, so almost all of that line is orange. Almost all of this line is orange. And almost all of this line is even, apart from two ones. But that doesn't let me colour all the cells. Um, I need to just come up with something else to get the colouring started. Now we've still got this four clue. Now either that's either a one three pair or that's a blue four. I don't know the answer. Okay, this five cage has one odd and two evens in it. The one cage has one odd and two evens. Is it obvious what I should do with these? Oh, this 8 is adding two even numbers. This cage, they must be 2 and 6. Uh, so that is 4 or 8. These numbers are 1 and 4 or 8. This 9 cage is adding that one number, which is a 9. Because it's counting the odd total. I should have been able to put those in before, sorry. Now... Is that Sudoku hasn't really done anything? I still can't rule out those being one and three. Can I rule out that being four? I don't think so. Okay, let's look at this box now. This three that's got one odd and one odd and two evens which is quite interesting. It gets us up to a count of seven evens in those two rows, which only have eight evens. What does that do? Or should I be using the 32? I don't know, because that could be a whole... Well, it could be 9797, nine, four odds, or it could be a whole bunch of evens. This 15, that could be 3 odds, or... Ah, oh, it is 3 odds. Oh, well, that's potentially important. It can't be 1 odd and 2 evens, because the odd would have to be 15. It can't be 2 odds and 1 even, because the 2 odds would add up to an even number. So that is 3 odds. Oh, well, maybe these cages are a bit more helpful than I'd realised. Um, but even that hasn't completed any rows and columns of five, has it? Maybe I know the numbers. Uh, okay, 25 is the sum of all the odd numbers. We can take out two of them that add to 10, which will be 1 and 9 or 3 and 7. Unfortunately, that is going to leave... Oh, I should be on the large numbers thing, shouldn't I? The large digits. There we go. So we can still see this cage totals. Five is in this cage, is what I just deduced there. It didn't do anything for me as a deduction. I'm still one deduction away from really... Ah, oh, this is on that blinking parallel. That's huge, yes. This is on... I should have drawn this line, shouldn't I? So let's come down this line as red. These red lines, what we worked out is that that long one has two odd cells on it that are both ones. And now we can see where they are. These other lines have a single even cell on them each. And we can't work out where they are yet. But the two, the, this long red line, there's one of the one. Oops, no, sorry, I'm on the wrong thing. One of the ones is in this central box, and the other one must be now this cell. 
So this has got a 5 and a 9 in it, and in fact the 9 that we got tells us which way round they are. Aha! Everything else on this line, in those boxes, is even, and is not counting towards the 2 total. Um, right, has this done something now, finally? Yes, look, these two, see, 7, 1 and 9, that's a 3, 5 pair. Now it's suddenly about Sudoku. Bizarre. Um, or is it? Or is it? That is 3 or 7. How am I getting anything out of that? 1, 5, one of these is odd, one of them is even. Um, nine is in one of those cells. One of, I don't know. I th thought this was going to clean it all up. This five case, then. This has got one odd and two evens in it as does the one cage. Right, the one cage does not have an odd number here because the only odd number, it has a one in it. That is the odd number. So this is an even. One and an even digit are in these cells. Now, what, are, what does that tell us? Nothing, I think. But there is a five in these three cells and it can't go in the cage. So it's Sudoku, that goes there because we had a five there and one over here. Um, so the other digit in the cage is either a 3 or a 9 along with the... No, it's not. It's even. It's 1 and an even digit. Uh, 5. There is a 5 in this cage. It has to be there. This is even. There is a 5 in this box. It has to be there. This is an even and 5, which is the third even for the column. This is such an odd puzzle. I think I'm making a very ham-fisted attempt at it, but I'm learning as I go and I'm prepared to do that. Now, these are all probably odd. Well, no, where are the twos on these lines? There can only be one of them in box one. And then the other possible places for blue 2 are here. Oh, uh, that's not as limited as I'd hoped. Oh, this 8 clue. Oh, I have not focused on this at all. Right, I don't even know if it's adding the odds or the evens. Um, if it was adding the evens, it would be taking a number from here. I don't know, I don't know whether it's about the 8 clue or the 4 clue. Is this obvious? It really isn't to me. That could be a 1. I don't know. I don't know what the A clue is doing. Oh, I'm feeling very inadequate now. <laughs> uh, let's, come on, let's think again. What on earth am I meant to do here? Five, three, five pair. One of these lines must be doing something very obvious for me. I want to say that one of these four digits is a two, but I, that doesn't necessarily have to be true. It could have two there and there. And it actually could. That's even potentially likely. Oh, well. Well, is it? Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm just working out it would put a 2 here by elimination in, in box 9, but that doesn't matter. That 2 wouldn't be counting on its line. Okay, I'm just missing something. There's a 3 in here and 2 even digits. Ah, oh, there's a 6 
um, X wing that I hadn't seen in those cells. So the two even digits here can't involve six, but six has to be in one of these two cells. Now, if this does add up to 16 and it's all even, it would be 862. So that would potentially work. If it was two odds and an even, it would be 976. So this is made up of either 268 or 679. Oh, I've got a sort of clash thing switched on. I don't know, I must have loaded up a new version of this. Sorry, I just want to, um, it's gameplay, isn't it? Conflict checker off. And check pencil marks off, there we go. Right, um, now, is this 268 or is it 679? How am I meant to know? Probably from the whole box. That has got two evens and an odd. This can't be three evens, because that would be five evens in the box. That is it. Right. So this is counting seven and nine, and we now know it's got a six in it. And the six is there. So we've got odd there. That's one odd and one even. Um, and in fact, that's... No, one of these is a seven. It doesn't have to be in that first set. One of those is a seven. Now, we've got one, two odds and an even here. One odd and two evens here. And annoyingly, that means one of these two is odd and one is even. Ah, but one of these is even now. One of, two of these are even, that's three. And then we've got all the other evens for the two rows done. So that's odd and that matters. And these two are odd as well in those two rows. It's just a count of rows four and five. So this odd one is the one. This is even and is four or eight. They form a pair. Two is in one of these cells. That's not interesting. But does this one get me anything? No, it doesn't. Um, one odd and one even here. Ah. There's got to be another even here, because there aren't two odd digits that could go there. You can't put three and seven there because of that. So there's an even here and an even here, and that's the four evens for the row, and this one is odd. To make up the count for that box, this one is even. This one is a one or a nine, but it can't be a one. It's a nine. That's huge. Right, nine there, seven there, six there. It's huge, because I finally get to put some digits in this crazy grid. So we get a 1 here. Uh, we've got that 3, 5, pet. Now, come on, that must have done something. Even though I was mostly entering odd digits and it's more the evens I want to go at. No, 9, 9. This is now a 7, 9 pair. They're both odd. Knowledge bomb there from cracking the cryptic. Um, these are these are 3, 7, and 9, but I don't know anything about their order. That's 1 or 3. Oh, come on. Why won't it give me a bit more? 3 is in one of those cells. 7 is in one of these two. Um, in the rest of the column, I don't know. Can we're going to need a blue 2 on this line, on this red line. We've got those two potential spots, or that one. Mm. 6, 2, 4, 8. There's a 2 here somewhere. This is one and an even digit. I'm not finding this easy at all. Oh, I haven't looked at the four and the, this eight diagonal. Right, we're not counting the evens because their absolute minimum is four, four and two is 10. So we are counting the odds and they must add up to eight. And these are the potential cells. That one is definitely odd. 
can't be a nine because we've got a total of eight. So that's one or three, which forms a pair, makes this a nine. This is now a three seven pair. Now that one or three is going into this eight sum, but what is it going with? I don't know. Let's look at this four sum. Has nothing's really changed here. Um, if it was adding R, what's this cell here? It is 2, 5, 7 or 9, because 1, 3, 4, 6 and 8 are gone. Now, if that was being added, it would bust this column. In fact, these two now can't be a 1-3 pair because there's of this 1-3 pair here. That's it. That's it. This can't be 1 or 3. So this is an odd digit worth 5, 7 or 9. So this isn't adding odds. It's adding evens. That is the even that it is adding. Everything else in the diagonal is odd. That's where 5 goes in, its, in the 5 cage. And that's even. Uh, this can't be 2 anymore. That is 5, 7 or 9, as is that. These don't have a 4 in. That's a 6, 8 pet. So this becomes 2. That becomes 6. Right, that feels like a breakthrough. Let's hope it actually works as one. Because of that precious few. Um, that's a 2, 8 pair. They're both even. <laughs> really working through this step by step to be as careful and as successful as I can. We've had four evens in this column. That's odd. It's got to be the three. Yes. Five, three. This is a seven. That's a three. I'm trying to tap the keyboard lightly because lightly, I'm aware it does make a bit of a sound. Uh, that is even in the cage, so it has to be a four. That is now odd for the count of the box. Uh, we've had four evens in column two, so they're odd. We've had four evens in row three now. Now we've got to have four evens in box three. We've got to have a fourth even in column nine. So we've suddenly placed three there on that diagonal, and it's got its even digit, which is a two. This diagonal doesn't have its even digit yet, which, but it's gonna be here because we need a fourth even in box one, so that's a two. These two are odd, actually that one's odd as well on the red lines. So I want to get rid of the lines, in fact, now. How do I do that? Does this get rid of them? Maybe I can, no, that doesn't, okay. No. Oh, mess. Oh, I see. There we go, that gets rid of the red lines. I think I can get rid of the pink ones too, can't I? Pretty sure I can, because we've worked them out. Oh, if I could draw straight lines with my mouse, we'd be doing it. Ooh, got one done, get rid of that one. Okay, so now we're just colouring the grid orange and blue. That's blue, it's a two. Um, this one is blue. Uh, so the one is there. Now we've had three oranges in this row, they're all blue. That gives us four blues in the box, they're all orange. That's a blue, that's where seven is. Oh, I can turn this into an odd and even Sudoku in a moment, and I find those relatively approachable. Uh, that is odd, and that is even right. That is the grid fully coloured. Now, let's do odds first, unusually. Um, that's not a nine. Odds. We've got five and one to put in box four. That five forces this to be a nine. I can do the five and seven in box six. Box by box, we can probably finish off now. Maybe not quite. That's a three, five pair. Let's look at this. This is a three, seven, nine triple. And I know it's nine in the middle. Uh, that must be a one for the column. That's three or seven. And that gives me a three, seven pair in the top row. So nine. Five, I can finish box one's odds, if I could type the right digits. 
that's seven, that's five, we are very much on the cusp here. Three, seven, I've got, oh, I've got a one three pair here. So there's some, there's some little killer clue that I have not used fully because I shouldn't have a deadly pattern. Um, that is on the eight clue and it's got to be a three to make that work, lovely. Three there, one there. I haven't used the 32 clue. Maybe that's what we're going to do for the evens, but I'm going to do as much Sudoku as I can before trying to add all that up, actually. So let's see what we can do. We need a four and an eight in column one. That is six or eight by elimination. Um, I don't think there's any cages where I need to do the numbering. Um, oh, this could be tricky still to to get these numbers in. Um, that is six or eight, and in row two, that means that's a four. That, this sees two, four, and six, so it's an eight. That finishes the box. These are a four, six pair. I feel like I ought to know the order. That four has sorted out eight and four down the middle. This is a two, four pair. And I can do six and eight. This must be two or four, but it sees a two up the grid. Excellent. That's going to resolve quite a few things in column two. Six, oops, six there, four there, eight in the corner, two and four over here, six, eight, six, eight. I haven't used that diagonal yet. It's probably coming up because I imagine the clue wouldn't be here for no reason. Um, this is four or eight. Stop hitting the zero key. This is four or six. This one's two or eight. And this one is two or six. Now let's use that 32 clue. Four, six, 16, 18, 26. Ah, no, this needs to be a six. And I, please tell me I've added that up wrong. Otherwise I've made a huge mistake. Six, 16. I did add it up wrong. 24, this needs to be an eight. Thank goodness for that. Right, eight there. Four, six, oops, two. That's now six and eight. And then we can finish off with two and a four in the corner. And that is a lovely puzzle. That is really good. Putting the joy in Sudoku, indeed. Um, very clever. I'm sure I was desperately slow on some parts of that early on. And I ask you to forgive me as I do about, well, the noise which I will try and eliminate as we go through the next couple of days. I should have more time to do testing tomorrow. And, uh, and the keyboard sound and anything else you didn't like about this production. Thank you for watching and we will see you again uh, tomorrow, but as it is, bye for now.